contact dollar signs, that is a bad start. Dear Miss Beaumont, following our telephone conversation, I'm writing to confirm that your great aunt, Patricia Beaumont, designated you as her principal heiress. You are now the owner of the Grange Meadows estate, in addition to the stud farm. I suggest that we arrange to meet up as soon as you arrive in Appleton, so that I can provide you with the procedural details relating to the will, along with the required paperwork. With kindest regards, Jeremy Scrivener. Wow, it's not exactly buzzing with life here. Okay, let's start by finding the solicitor's office. Hello? Hi there, it's Pippa. I just wanted to wish you good luck. This is a new start in life for you, isn't it? You must be really happy. It's really nice of you to call me, Pippa. Thanks for your support. I get the feeling I'm going to need it. Listen, I'm going to ring off. I guess you've got loads of things to do. I'll call you back later. In the meantime, good luck. And above all, don't forget that to save your game, you have to press the escape key. Hi there. Are you lost? Uh, yeah. It looks like it. The village isn't very big. Use the arrow keys to go for a little stroll. To go forward, use the up key. If you want to run, press twice very quickly on the same key. To turn around, Press the right or left keys. Oh, by the way, my name's Rose. I'm Estelle, Patricia Beaumont's great niece. Nice to meet you, Rose. Hey, that's great. We'll be living together in that case. I live on the estate with my brother, Davy. It's a tiny little village, and there aren't many inhabitants now. But you can speak to them all the same when you see an arrow appear above them. All you have to do is press the space bar. Perhaps you could help me. I'm looking for the office of Mr. Scrivener, the solicitor, and... Oh, the solicitor. Sure. You turn right, then left. Hold on. I've got a street map of the village here. It might also come in handy for you later on. To look at the street map, first you have to find it in your inventory by pressing the I key. Hey, this thing looks really difficult. Nonsense! It's easy as pie. Look, with the Observe button, you can take a closer look at the object you've selected. With the Use button, either you use it or you show it to other people. Wow, this street plan's really cool. I was looking for one before I came, but it was impossible to find one. Thanks. I created it myself on my computer. Appleton isn't exactly a well-known town.
Excuse me. I'm looking for Mr. Scrivener's office. Scrivener, the solicitor. That's right. Everybody seems to know each other here. You're the Beaumont girl, right? Family likenesses. There's no escaping them. Just go straight on and you'll find the office. It's the second road to the left. Ah, oh, here we are. This is it. Come in, please. What prey can I do for you? Are you Mr. Scrivener? In person. And you must be Miss Beaumont, unless I am much mistaken. Delighted to meet you. Please, take a seat. Before she passed on, your great-aunt, Mrs. Beaumont, instructed me to find her heirs. You are the only relative. As such, the estate and the stud farm are your rightful inheritance. However, there are a certain number of clauses in the will. Clauses? What do you mean? Conditions, if you prefer. Mrs. Beaumont was a somewhat eccentric lady. <laughs> Excuse me, the old hay fever's playing up again. She wanted to bequeath her worldly goods to someone who loved horse riding. I thought the stud farm was more or less abandoned. It is true that when she was ill, Mrs. Beaumont neglected the stud farm. But there is still one horse and a few buildings. What do I have to do? Let us say that you must fulfill a certain number of objectives in order to become full owner in your own right. But my dear, you must be exhausted after your trip. I'll drive you to the estate. We can talk through the details later on. You'll meet Davy the groom. Since his parents died, he's been looking after his little sister Rose all on his own. He's a little withdrawn, but he's a good fellow. Your aunt liked them very much. What's more, according to the terms in the will, they're allowed to live on the estate. <laughs> Did their parents work on the estate? Are you allergic to something? To horses, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Turner took care of the stud farm for more than 20 years. You wouldn't happen to have a handkerchief by any chance. They died in a tragic fire eight years ago. The little girl was still a baby. Well, I'll leave you to get settled in. Ah, here's Davy. Davy, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Beaumont, who was just come from abroad and is going to take charge of the estate. Hello, miss. Hello, Davy. Pleased to meet you. Davy grew up here, and he works here. He knows the place like the back of his hand. You could call me Estelle, you know. We must be about the same age. I prefer not to, miss. You're my boss. Well, I'll leave you young people together. <laughs> you take good care of yourself, Mr. Scrivener. You should get settled into your room, miss. It's upstairs in the building.
There's a notebook on the bedside table. To use it, position yourself in front of it, and when you see the indicator appear, press the space bar. Alternatively, press the J key whenever you want. And what's it for? It's your private journal. All the successfully completed missions, or those that remain to accomplish, are noted down in it. You can consult them at any time. It's useful to have around. Remember that you can consult your private journal whenever you want by pressing the J key. Let's meet up in the stable for a brief tour. You won't have any problem finding it. It's the only building that's in good condition. See you soon. This is our stable. Our horse is at the back. You can only go into the stalls where there's a horse. You'll see the name of the horse displayed over the door. To go in, press the space bar. I've got other things to do. You must go into the stall. This stall is empty. Oh, he's a beaut. It's a she, not a he, and she needs a spot of grooming. You can do that. It's a good way to get to know each other. What's more, if you don't groom her yourself, I'll have to do it. And that will cost you credits. All right, but on one condition, that you stop calling me Miss. It's ridiculous. OK, as you please. What do I do? You've got a choice between different grooming treatments. Look at the buttons on the right. Try them all. OK, now it's time for a wash. You see the hose in the middle? You must keep the mouse button pressed down and direct the water towards the horse. Make sure you wash all over her body. Look out, don't spray the head. Gosh, she really needed that. I have a lot to do, you know, and I'm all on my own. I wasn't criticising. Don't be so touchy. It's dead easy. Click on the brush to select it. Next, keep the mouse button pressed down and move the brush over the horse. When the gauge to the left is full, that means your horse is clean.
Okay, that's fine. Are you hungry? Click on the icon at the top right and put the food in the trough by clicking again. After three rations, the horse will be satisfied. That's great. The horse isn't hungry anymore. You did really well. For the moment, we've only got hay. We'll have to buy other fodder. It isn't good for a horse always to eat the same thing. You must clean the shoe that the horse presents to you. To use the hoof cleaner, keep the mouse button pressed down and scratch the earth energetically. Nothing should remain on any of the four hooves. Watch out! Not here! You'll hurt her! All right, my beauty. That's one done. There we are. Finished. Now you have to clean the stall. Click on the pitchfork and stick it into the hay. Keep the mouse button pressed down to move the hay and release it to put the hay into the wheelbarrow. If the gauge is half full, it means that the ground is clean. Next, you should click on the pile of clean hay and spread it around in the stall. When the gauge is full, you've done it. Well done. The stall is clean.
It looks as if she wants to get out. The meadow isn't available. When your aunt fell sick, she stopped looking after the estate. It would be a good idea to get some fences put up. Rose has been having fun creating information sheets for the horses. You can read about their different characteristics. Whenever you win a new horse, you can choose a name yourself by entering it in the field at the top left. Your sister's really amazing. Yeah, I know. She loves the horses, and she's a dab hand at computers too. When the horse is well trained, it acquires points that you can share out for different kinds of performances. You can improve its endurance, or its skill in show jumping, or dressage. Thanks, you've been a great help. But remember to clean your horse and its stall regularly, particularly before each competition. Otherwise, I'll have to do it myself in your absence, and I won't do it for free. Couldn't I take her out for a little ride? I was told that you haven't been riding for long, but I'd like to see how you cope before I let you loose outdoors with our only horse. And anyway, I'd never let you go out on a horse before the grooming's finished. I can see you really trust me. OK, you know how to take care of a horse. Now let's see how you cope in dressage. I'm taking you to the course. Mr. Scrivener told me you've always lived here. Yes, but as soon as we can, Rose and I are going to clear out. I don't plan on spending my whole life in this dump. Handling the horse is dead simple. To make the horse shift from walking to trotting, use the up arrow. If you press again on the arrow, it will canter then gallop, and lastly, full gallop. By pressing the down arrow, you go back down through the different gates one by one. You can do this until the horse halts, then walks backwards. To turn left or right, press the corresponding arrow buttons. Ready? We'll start the dressage trial. At the top of the screen, you can check to see whether you've performed the right figure. At the bottom of the screen, your score will appear at the end of each figure, and also your overall score. You must follow the course arrows and change gait at each marker. To do a salute, you should stop your horse, then press the S key.
Hey, you're supposed to be controlling your horse, not the other way round. That's not bad. Perfect. Come on, just a little more effort. You're not very gifted. You'll have to complete this course successfully before I can trust you. You can come and see me later in the stud farm courtyard so I can take you back here. Handling the horse is dead simple. To make the horse shift from walking to trotting, use the up arrow. If you press again, by pressing to turn left or right. Ready? We'll start the dressage trial. At the top of the screen, you can check to see whether you've performed the right figure. At the bottom of the screen, your score will appear at the end of each figure and also your overall score. You must follow the course arrows and change gait at each marker. To do a salute, you should stop your horse, then press the S key. Congratulations! Where did you learn to ride like that? Well, I've ridden for ages, and after my school leaving certificate, I followed Pippa Funnel in all her major competitions. Lucky you! Me, I'm stuck here until further notice. What would you like to do? Dunno. Take Rose somewhere nice, maybe. But what about you? Oh, it doesn't matter about me. If I had half her brains, it would be different. Miss Beaumont? This is the airport. We found your luggage and we've sent it to the post office at Appleton. Once again, terribly sorry for this inconvenience. Listen, have you got time to take me to the village? I have to pick up my things. Sorry, I can't. We've got a problem with the horse box. Take the mare. Go into the stall and click on the button with a saddle. But watch out, you can only take out the horse if you've completely finished grooming it. Your horse has gained experience. Click on the sheet. I'll explain.
up, leveling up. You've just got through a level. Result. At each level, your horse improves, and you must divide now, what do I do? its experience points. You can either teach it new figures to the right, or improve the length or height of its jumps, or increase its endurance. Endurance might be good idea if I'm going to fuck with him. But maybe I have to save for a PF. Uh, jumping. Jumping sounds fun. Right, I've got to find that village again. I think it's still straight ahead. Leveled up jump. a lot of stuff. I just thought it was going to be a straight line to a village. There's enough world for me to get lost in, that's fun. Oh. I can't go look at the hidden packages though. Useless bastard. Should have leveled up endurance. You don't really intend to come into the village on horseback, do you? Oh, sorry. It's okay, no harm done. Position your horse directly opposite the chain. An indicator will appear. All you have to do is press the space bar. Your nag will wait for you nice and quietly under the covered playground. This motherfucker's properly dressed for an RPG. I look forward to questing for him. Uh. I'll be back very soon, my lovely. How about this car? Maybe not. Soon. Where am I going? Post office. Is one of those post office? Talk to Bench, dude. 
Excuse me, I'm looking for the post office. Well, I'm not surprised you can't find it. There's no post office. It's Molly Catchpole, the oh. grocer, who deals with the post. Thanks. Which one of these is the grocer? Uh, oh, yeah. That's what shop you want. Doesn't really help me because I haven't figured out my way around this very simple town. Everything else is this way, so I'll try that again. Hello. There should be a parcel for me here. I'm moving into Grange Meadows. Oh, yes. Well, that'll be quite a change for you. Appleton's a quiet little place. Have you lived here long? My parents used to run the grocer's shop to give you some idea. In the past, the children took over their parents' businesses. But those days are over. There's no future anymore in Appleton. My son went off to work in town. And the upshot is, I never see my grandchildren. It's a pity the young ones don't hang around. It's a pretty place. I'm not saying it isn't, but even if it was the prettiest place in the world, when there's no work, there's no work. But then there's always that promoter with his development project. Mr. Blacklock. A charming fellow, I should add. But here I am, chatting away. Don't forget your things. I put them there, just on the side. Right. If need be, just remember, this isn't just a post office here. I'm also running a grocer's shop. To go into the shop, position yourself Shopping. opposite the shop buy some new armor or something. Me and press the space bar. Nope. Can't look at my stuff. Using my stuff just confuses it. Cool. Choose the item you want to buy with the arrow keys and click on the buy button. But take care, you must have enough credits. Thanks. In any case, you've got loads of things here. Granules. Carrots. No clothes yet. That's what we need, right? New outfits. Alright. I got to buy cereal flakes. And carrots. Not sure that's fucking. Softest brush. I could just buy everything, it seems too obvious. What if I need the money later? There's nothing left for me. When on earth are you coming back? We've got things to see to at the stud farm. Very simple village. Good job, Neil.
glad to say so far this game is delivering everything I'd hoped for. I don't think I regret the lots of hours I spent getting it working. Oh, some of the horses getting knackered though on travelling. Shit. Movie fucker. Mm. I'll explore later. I'm carrying all of my stuff, it's well heavy. Can I do anything with my stuff yet? No, I think I just have to go. It's my start form, I can do what I want. This is completely unfamiliar. I must have made a mistake. Yeah, have that the man. I'm gonna go this way anyway. Uh, will it let me? Will it let me? Will it let me? No. Didn't let me. Maybe if I level up my jump even more. Uh, which one of those is in my house? Mm. Pile of logs? See, yeah, I'm going to go visit the pile of logs. Or am I? Hmm. I don't recognize this place at all. If I get a big enough run up, I'm a knackered horse. No, he's not even trying. I'll be back. It's an Ubisoft game, maybe there'll be a viewpoint at the top of this tree. No. But that is going to be a night in one day. It's Mr. Scrivener on the line. Would you fancy meeting up at my office? Okay, I'll be right over. Just give me time to put my things away in my new room. Right. Now let's sort things out. I really do have a lot of things. Let's see if everything will fit into this wardrobe. To put away your things, position yourself in front of the big wardrobe a red indicator will appear. Then open your inventory by pressing I, and lastly, use the parcel. There we go. Now I can open it. Fortunately, it's a king-size wardrobe. Right, let's see how this works. I guess that by using the arrows, I can change my outfit. 
and I can go back into the room by using the return button at the bottom left.